Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And um, so, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys probably seen my tweet where I talked about that. I may have found a fix for the uh, issue with the Pixel 2 and 2XL on Visible. Now, what that issue is, is that um, back in December, if you had a 2XL or a Pixel 2 and you were using Visible service, uh, Visible tried to support the Pixel 1s and the Pixel 2s, but for some reason, um, the update to Android 10 and then the security patches coming afterwards kept uh, it kept breaking the ability to make phone calls and text from these devices using visible service. And um, so in a previous video I did, I did a video showing people that if you use Google Voice, you can work around that because the data will still work on both these devices. Uh, you'll still get full LTE from the SIM card itself on Visible. You'll still have the, the you know, whatever connection speeds you were having in your area, you'll still maintain those same connection speeds. It was just the, the phone calls and the text messaging was just not working. So um, playing around with it because uh, the day that I made the video about using Google Voice, I had popped my SIM card into the Pixel 2. And then out of nowhere, a text message came when I was just chilling on the couch. And so I tweeted out a video that Visible is out to try to make me a liar because all of a sudden phone calls and text was working on there. And I remember I did something before putting the SIM card into the Pixel 2. And so then I tried to replicate that again, this time using the Pixel 2 XL. And um, the, the thing that I did actually worked. So now I'm getting text and phone calls on my Pixel 2 XL. And so to make sure that this is something that would work, I am actually leaving my visible SIM in the 2XL waiting until the next security patch update from uh, Google. And uh, when that happens, I will do the same method again and see if that corrects the issue. Now I understand why visible themselves would say that they no longer support the Pixel 2 and 2XL. When I had tweeted about possibly having a fix for it, they responded to my tweet saying, that they currently don't support the Pixel 2s and that if I had any questions to DM them and uh, they would they would talk to me over a DM. So I understand why they wouldn't uh, support this because this is not 100% foolproof and uh, according, right? It's not, it's not tested to be a sure thing all the time. And so therefore they wouldn't want people going out buying Pixel 2s and then trying to use it on visible and then, you know, they're just trying to protect customers. So. Uh, but anyways, let me get into it. So I have my Pixel 3a, uh, my, not 3a, so my Pixel 3a here, and I'm using this because it has my Google Fi number in it, and so you're going to see that uh, calls and text works from Visible. Um, okay, so what did I do to actually get it going? So okay, so this is what I did to get things working. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys what I did on my Pixel 2. Um, the visible SIM card's not in here, it's in the Pixel 2 XL. And that's uh, that's just because that it takes a while for this to actually work and activate again. So, um, but anyways, so first thing I did was I went down to my visible app and I just basically long pressed on it, went to app info, and I went into storage and cleared the entire storage of it. After I cleared the entire storage of it, then uh, I basically four stopped it just like that. Once it was four stopped and you see that it, the four stop light is no longer there. Then what I did afterwards was I went uh, into settings and I took a SIM ejector tool and popped the SIM card out of it, right? So then there was no SIM card inside of it. Uh, went down here to system afterwards without the SIM card inside and went to reset options and resetted Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. Once I did that, I literally just restarted the device. Now, after the device restarted, I went ahead and signed back in into my home Wi-Fi. I kept the SIM card out. I didn't put it in just yet. But after um, connecting to my home Wi-Fi, I basically logged back in into my visible app as if it was the first time I logged into it. And right when I got to the login screen, I popped in the visible SIM card I went ahead and completed the sign-in and then I just let it sit 
I let it sit for a while, like the first uh, five minutes, nothing, no phone calls, no text. About after a good like five minutes, I would say, then I started noticing that text messaging was working. And um, yeah, so again, I have uh, the Pixel 3a here. This is to show you guys that it works. So let's go ahead and, um, so I don't want you to see the other contacts that I have. So, okay, so I will go uh, and uh, basically tap Google Fi. And just a test. Ooh, I hate the feedback stuff. But anyways, yeah. So, calling worked. Let me go ahead and open up the text thread. And... Trying to text through the screen. No. That way. There we go. Sent. Received text. Boom. It worked. So again, those steps that I did were is just what I did. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be like, hey, you know, your numbers were shown. Don't worry about it. I got call screening on. So people want to prank call, whatever, the call is just gonna get screened. So um, but yeah, that's how I was able to um literally get visible working on here. And um yeah. So if you guys want to see, we'll drop. Mm. So, yeah, it's using Verizon LTE right now. But, uh, no, that's just what I did. That's 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 exactly all that it is. Uh, how I got this method really was I went on XDA and they, and, um, not XDA, Reddit, and someone had a full thing to do where you, they wanted you to take the visible SIM card out. They wanted you to factory reset the phone and wipe everything, including the, the network stuff. They wanted you to reset up your device. They wanted you to re-download the visible app. And from re-downloading the visible app, they wanted you to sign in on it using Wi-Fi without the visible SIM card in. And once you signed in to put your visible SIM card in, and I just basically just cut out 80% of that process and just went to the... Uh, wiping and for stopping the app um resetting network connections without the sim card in power cycling the phone connecting to my whole wi-fi signing back in into my visible app putting the visible sim back in and just letting it sit there and try to activate which is basically when you use it with a compatible device like say the pixel 3a that's what would actually happen is that uh, you would just sign into the visible app, put your SIM card in, and then just sit there and wait because it'll activate that way through the app. So anyways, guys, that's just pretty much my fix for um, getting the Pixel 2 and 2 XLs working on uh, visible. Um, yeah, it's not the you know ultimate MacGyver type thing, but, uh, you know, it, it works. So um, again, I'll follow up. Uh, in a, in a week or so, let you guys know after the, uh, you know, the next security patch that comes out from Google for the Pixel 2 and 2 XL, if it breaks the uh, call and text uh, connection, and if it does, does this method um, fix it after that? And then we'll see. So if you guys enjoyed what I had to show you guys in this video, smash that like button to let me know. If you guys um, found this video informative, um, yeah, please share with others so that way they can... Uh, learn how to do this. Uh, if you just found my channel and subscribed, 
and uh, you thought the video, you know, my content was good, thanks so much for doing so. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload another video. But yeah, that is it for right now, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. And as always, aloha.